In this video, we can discuss about plasma expanders. Let's start with the definition. Plasma expanders are high molecular weight substances which exert colloidal osmotic pressure when infused IV which will retain fluid in the vascular compartment. And these are used to correct hypovolemia due to the loss or plasma loss of plasma or blood. So, normal day blood undakkuna adhe osmotic pressure keep a yam end it. Normal use a yinna high molecular weight substances galana plasma expanders and what. Epperana normal day use a yam blood loss gondo alengil plasma loss gondo kenda avna hypovolemia ne reach a yam end it ana normal plasma expanders gala use a yam. Now, what are the desirable properties of a plasma expander? Plasma expander should exert the ongotic pressure comparable to plasma. Plasma kodukkunne ongotic pressure endano, adhe osmotic pressure kodukkunne oru substance ayirikkinam. They should remain in circulation and should not leak out into the tissue or should be too rapidly, uh, should be too rapidly disposed, distributed to the intravascular compartment only, should be thermodynamically inert, should not be pyrogenic and antigenic, should not interfere with the grouping and cross matching of the blood, should be stable, easily stabilized and it should be easily sterilizable and it should be cheap. Apo, valare, uh, Pharmacodynamically inert tight same osmotic pressure create in the antigenic alata, antipyrogenic alata, blood matching and cross matching on the interface or substance area no? plasma expanders and why. Now what are the different type of plasma expander? We can use two type of plasma expander, crystalloids and colloids. Crystalloids are aqueous solution of mineral salt or other water soluble metal molecules like normal saline, dextrose, ringer solution and colloids these are the large insoluble molecules such as dextran, human albumin, gelatin, blood. So uh, the duration of action of colloidal uh, ex plasma expander will be longer than the crystalloids. Now what are the different substances which can be used as a plasma expander? These are some examples human albumin, dextran, degraded gelatin polymer or polygalin, polyvinyl pyrrolidone and hydroxy ethyl starch or heta starch. Let's start with human albumin. So human albumin usually prepared from the pooled human plasma. 100 ml of 20 percentage human albumin solution is osmotically equivalent to about 400 ml of fresh frozen plasma or 800 ml of old blood. But there are some adverse reactions. It may produce hypersensitivity and overloading of circulation also. Now, human albumin is used as a plasma expander in case of hypovolemic state such as burn, hemorrhages, surgical procedure without regard to the patient blood group and does not interfere with the coagulation and it carry no risk of hepatitis also. So that is the use of human albumin from prepared from pooled human plasma. Now coming to the second type of plasma expander that is dextran. This is a water soluble glucose polymer obtained from the sugar beet. There are two forms of dextran, dextran 40 and dextran 70. Dextran 40 is the uh, water soluble polymer with a molecular weight of 40,000 and it is given by IV infusion as 10 percentage solution and it will act rapidly and it can improve its uh, improve the micro circulation and in case of dextran 70 molecular weight is 70000 and it is given as 6 percentage solution and preferred when small volume is required and it has long duration of action but there are some adverse drug reactions like dextran will interfere with uh, uh, coagulation and can produce fever joint pain etc and can interfere with the blood grouping also. So these are the adverse effects of dextran. Now coming to uh, hydroxyethyl starch or heta starch which is used as a plasma ex expander. 
it is derived from starch and it is a complex mixture of ethylated amylopectin of various molecular size with average of uh, 4.5 lakhs and these are stable in room temperature and has long duration of action but it does not interfere with blood grouping now uses uh, it can improve the hemodynamic status for 24 hours whether there are some adverse drug reactions like vomiting mild fever itching chill flu like symptoms swelling of salivary gland urticaria and bronchospasm so that is hydroxyethyl starch now coming to the degraded gelatin polymer which is also known as polyethylene it's a synthetic polymer with a molecular weight of 30000 gelatin is degraded uh, in gelatin in degraded form is used commonly as a plasma expander and the plasma expansion will last for 12 hours it does not interfere with the blood group and cross matching but these are more expensive when compared with the dextran and these are mainly used as an hemostatic agent in surgical procedure and used for priming of heart and lung and dialysis machines so that is degraded gelatin polymer or polyethylene now finally polyvinyl pyrrolidon or pvp it's a synthetic polymer with uh, average molecular size of 40000 and which are usually used at the 3.5 percentage solution and uh, which is used as an plasma expander for the trauma victim after 1950 but uh, it is currently not using because it will interfere with the blood grouping and as well as cross matching and it is an histamine release so it may cause some allergic reaction also and it will bind with the penicillin as well as insulin so uh, the efficacy will be decreased for in case of penicillin as well as penicillin uh, penicillin as well as insulin and it is secreted by kidney and small amount by liver into the bile and a fraction is stored in reticulo endothelial cells of for the prolonged period and it is less less commonly used as plasma expander but this pvp is used for some other uses like uh, in personal care products such as shampoo toothpaste hair spray and gels it is also used as an binder in pharmaceutical tablets and polyvinyl pyrrolidone is added to iodine form a complex called povidone iodine and thus that possess disinfectant property and known under the trade name of betadine as well as biodine so these are the uses of polyvinyl pyrrolidone now coming to the contra indications of plasma expanders we have to take care uh, while using plasma expander to this kind of patient patient with a severe anemia patient with a severe uh, severe bleeding disorder patient with a congestive heart failure patient with a renal failure and hepatic failure now coming to uses uh, plasma expander is primarily used as a substitute for plasma in condition where the plasma has been lost or has moved to the extra vascular compartment so uh, this can be used in case of uh, hypovolemia by burn in acute phase only and hypovolemic as well as endotoxic shock severe trauma and extensive tissue damages so these are the uses of plasma expanders so that is all about the plasma expanders hope it is clear thank you for watching this video